The Networker module for Microsoft version 3.0, also known as NMM 3.0, offers the ability to perform exchange alternate mailbox recoveries. An example of where this brings value is when there is a need to perform legal discovery of email. In this demo, I will illustrate how to perform an alternate mailbox recovery from NMM 3.0. I have logged into the Exchange server and launched the NMM. To begin, I will select the Recovery option, Exchange 2010 Recovery, and then Granule Level Recovery. I will select Yes to continue the Granule Level Recovery. Next, I will select the database that I want to recover from and then select Recovery within the bottom pane. A pop-up box will show my recovery options that I selected and I will start the recovery. NMM will virtually mount the database. This brings value by providing a quick recovery at the message and or mailbox levels. Once the database is mounted, a pop-up box will indicate that items can be restored from the database. After clicking OK, NMM will provide a list of the mailboxes associated to the database that I previously chose. I will now expand the tree and choose the two mailboxes that are required to be restored for a legal discovery. By selecting the Advanced Recovery option, I have the ability to select an alternate mailbox for the recovery. I am choosing to recover the mailboxes to the person who will be reviewing the emails, in this case, Mike Jones's mailbox. I will now review my recovery options and then select Start Recovery to begin. When recovering to an alternate mailbox, NMM will create a recovery item folder under the root of the alternate mailbox. Inside the Recovered Items folder, NMM will create subfolders that contain the contents of each user's recovered mailbox items. Monitoring the restore process is very easy. You simply select the Monitor tab, where you can view the progress of the restore. Once the restore has completed, you will see that the VSS operation was successful, as well as the restore of the two mailboxes to the alternate mailbox location. In order to perform the legal discovery, I will go into Outlook and open Mike Jones's mailbox. I will then see that the two mailboxes were restored to the recovery items folder with today's date. This demo has shown the value of using NMM for the backup and recovery of Exchange, specifically the ability to perform alternate mailbox recoveries while using the virtually mounted database for very fast item level recoveries.